Yo, what is going on guys? Max is here back with a brand new video and today we're back doing another Fallout 4 mod video. So today I do want to talk about guns being as I've done power armor and regular armor. Check those out in the link down in the description below. But today I just want to talk about guns because there are a lot of great weapon mods and I think a lot of those go overlooked by certain other things. You know, you might just get the modern firearms one, you know, that's the most popular one. Yeah, but like you're missing out on so many other amazing mods. And what better way for you to learn about it than a video? So, with that being said, our first mod is the Skibata Weapons Pack. So, better yet, I'll just show you the first weapon. It's a freaking minigun! Look at this thing! Oh my god, this thing is amazing! 400 rounds, 556 five, ammo, and there is plenty, plenty to go around here in Diamond City. Look at this. Look at this, no chance. Are you guys, are you good? You good? Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, how about you? You good? Fantastic. Now I gotta reload. Look at that. This thing is a monster. That's not even the only gun in this mod. There's actually a total of around 10 uh, that cannot be crafted. I must tell you that. They all have to be purchased to certain, you know, vendors or anything like that. About mine from right here at Atoro himself. And yeah, I think it's a pretty good mod. Customization is really good, just like on most of these weapon mods. Seems like customization seems to be the biggest part. You don't want to just, I don't know, you don't want to download a mod for a weapon and all you can do is put on maybe two sights, maybe a bigger mag. These always go very, very deep. All right, and our next one is the L96A1. So, uh, any of you that play on PC, you will know that there are a ton of these mods. You know, fair play to you, you can just type it in the search bar, you get hundreds and hundreds. Any of them to pick from, they're all good, they're all amazing, whatever, whatever. But, uh, Xbox users only, I'm not sure about PS4, Xbox users only, you basically have one option, and it's this bad boy right here. This amazing looking bad boy, whose damage is, I should I say, out of this freaking world. Even though it didn't drop in one hit. But you get the point. <laughs> it's, it's still a really good sniper rifle. And holy crap, you should try this thing out. It sounds really meaty. Just like in all my other videos, all the mods will be listed in the description down below if you want to check these out, which I highly recommend you doing so. Just better than trying out whatever mods you want to see for yourself. Any history fans out there, they're probably going to love this mod as it's the MG42. And this thing sounds delicious. All of these guns sound really good. To, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. But this one and the very first one sound really, really good to me. I just love this thing. I'm a sucker for LMGs and Fallout, and I really feel like the base game was missing out on it big time. Like, it was, it's just so, oh, it was so sad. They could have done so much more with it and leave it up to the mod community to fix everything like they always do. Like with other mods, there is a lot of customization elements to it. Uh, you can even you can change the barrel to basically make it a different type of MG42 or even the MG34 if you want. You can change the ammo for it. Can't really add us any sights onto it. It is iron sights only. But, I mean, the sights on it itself is already so good. Why would you want to change the beautiful, beautiful masterpiece of this? And the fourth mod is one that I have mentioned in a previous video, but I still feel like it has not gotten enough love. This thing is amazing. I've used this mod for so long, and it's been so reliable, so perfect. No glitches, no bugs. It's just straight perfection. Chris's Vector is honestly one of my favorite gun mods of all time. It's, it's definitely up there. It has to be. It's just so clean and perfect, easy to use. I have not a single complaint about this. Everything about it is perfect. The way you can change the colors of it, the sights you can put on it, the way it sounds, the magazines, even the extremely, extremely long magazine that you can put on it that has no business being there is still a really nice touch on it. And honestly, I think you should check this mod out. And for our last mod of the day, it is the HK MP7, which is located, actually, let me phrase that, it gives you a quest I'll uh, go ahead and show you right here. It gives you this quest and brings you right over here to the National Guard Training Yard. So it is locked behind a master lock door. So if you can't get that, uh, it's going to be pretty difficult. I can't remember if there's a key for this or not. I feel like there is, if I remember. I haven't played this or haven't done this quest in so long that brings you here. So I can't say for sure or not if there is a key. But in my case, I just lock pick the door. It's not really that big of a deal for me. Yeah, let's go ahead and get inside. Take out the one ghoul. There is some power armor here. Fun fact, if you need some power armor. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for a master lot gun case. Oh my god. So it does look like no matter what, you will need at least a master lock pick. 
in order to actually nice. use this mod. Fun fact. And there it is. Ported Automatic HK MP7. Nice. And we do complete the quest. And these also do spawn now after you do complete this quest is what I understand from reading the mod description. I could be wrong, but that's just what I get. Ooh, this looks nice. It looks just like the one from... Uh, Almost said Fallout 3 from Modern Warfare 3. Perfect. What kind of ammo does it take? 4.6 times 30. I don't have any. Let me get some and then we'll shoot this thing. All right, before we go all no rush on the people of the sanctuary, why don't we just go ahead and look at the custom ability of this just to really make sure this mod's completely worth it. Uh, receivers look good. Barrels, eh, there's only two. Stocks, pretty good. Ma oh, there's only two mags, not too bad. Uh, your standard size is 40, so I guess, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. Sights. Wow, there's there's a lot of sights actually. Okay, muzzles. There's a lot of muzzles, grips. Uh, two grips, not too amazing. Change the caliber, which is oh, that would have been really good to know. Ah, uh, I just made this and the freaking 4.6 that it you know makes you or not makes you, but it, that it starts with is really really hard to make. It takes a lot of lead. Uh, I'll just leave it like that for now. It's fine. And you can do damage increase. 99%. Yep, why not? Give me all the damage increase for no reason. Nice. Nice. So there is a good bit of custom, custom ability. Not too bad. Not yeah. too bad. Could be better. But all around pretty solid so far. Uh, let's see. Where's all of my... There you go. Yep. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I like this so far. It sounds interesting. Yeah, guys, that is yeah. going to do it for today's video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Any you know types of video ideas, anything you want to see. Uh, like I said before, all the mods will be linked in the description down below. Make sure you check those out. They are amazing. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time, and peace.